What's going on, guys? Hey, hello, teacher. Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys? How was your day? Yes. Hey, teacher. Okay. Was fine, what? Thanks. <laughs> what happened? What's great today? <laughs> it was a great day. Yes, it's it a good day because it's rainy. I was going to ask you that if it is raining where you're at. Yes. It is? Nice, man. That's pretty cool. What about you, Victor? How was your day? It was great. Uh, it a little bit busy, but thankfully I finished at, at time. So you now it's time, time just to study. Yes. All right. All right. That's awesome. All right. Uh, Marjorie. Hello, Marjorie. Are you, Hello, at, are you at work? Yes, still. I'm just oh. checking my thing. <laughs> oh, okay. I almost living. Almost. <laughs> okay. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, Jorge. How are you, Jorge? Hello. How was your day? I am fine, teacher. A little busy, but it's a great day because uh, at home right now, and I prepare my class too, and be happy too. Okay, well, what class did you prepare? Uh, about my wife too, because she's a teacher. Oh, you prepare your class, your, your wife's class? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, that's awesome. Uh, Francisco. What about you, Francisco? Good evening, everyone. It has been a heavy and tired day, but so far, so good. Nice. I'm man. ready. Nice. <laughs> right. Gloria, thank you for being here early. How was your day, Gloria? Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I am fine. Uh, uh, this day is uh, I continuing uh, work uh, to work. Uh, in my house, uh, I am uh, doing a home office teacher. Oh, okay. That's great. Very yes. cool. Uh, what about you, Carlos Alfaro? Carlos? I'm sorry. What about you? Oh, uh, I am very uh, quite stressed right now. Well, I am good now, but it has been a really stressful day at work. Um, but I hope it will be fine after the class. All right, man. All right. Hopefully, you get to relax during the class. Uh, Elena Maya. Yeah, hopefully hello. Too. So Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, how was your day today? Was super. Thank you. It was good? Very good. You work at Tigo, right? Uh, no, I'm working at a drugstore. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Brenda, how was your day, Brenda? Good evening, everyone. My day was good. All right, very good, okay. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, my friend Ronnie. Hi. Good evening, awesome. everybody. Was all good, Jeroni? Yes, I'm, I'm tired, but it's a tired. good day. <laughs> yes, man, I guess we're all tired after working for so yeah. many hours. Right? All right, yeah, guys, yeah. so let's get started with the class. Um, what was the topic that we have been seeing, guys? Who can tell me? The pronoun. Relative pronoun. Relative pronoun. pronoun. Okay, relative pronouns as what? Oh, As subjects, good job, guys. All right, so what is a relative pronoun? That, who? Very good job, you, okay. You connect the class of range as well? Good job, good job, good job. All right, and uh, what is, uh, okay, you give me the examples and you give me the theory. Very good job, very good job. You're paying attention. Now, guys, did you finish the exercise that I told you that I asked you to finish on the platform? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, I did. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
Okay, so real quick, guys, we're going to see relative pronouns as objects, which is pretty much the same, to be honest. Give me one second. Hey, teacher, you look tired. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm, I'm kind of tired today. Like, it's, uh, it's Thursday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's Thursday. Uh, uh, tomorrow. You have to drink coffee. Tomorrow, yeah, class, uh, just we have, week. are you still working we have, in, in Dallas as well? Yeah, I'm working at Dallas. Yeah, um, yeah, I do have we do have a class tomorrow. I mean, classes are from Monday to, to Thursday, oh, yeah. but since we missed this Monday, we're gonna have to have a class tomorrow. So, yeah, yeah, tomorrow you, you're supposed to be here. All right, so don't okay. skip. Oh. <laughs> All right, beautiful guys. So, a relative pronoun has objects. What is an object? Who can tell me what an object is, guys? Oh. An object of a sentence. What Why is it? Thing? Okay, the object of a sentence, guys, is basically. Do you like to gossip? <laughs> Do you like <laughs> gossiping? Yes, no? no? All right, so so basically, guys, it is what we talk about. All right? So, for example, I can say, I like, I like the rain. In this case, what do you think? Which one is the subject? Rain. Rain. No, Rain. the subject is I. Ah, the subject is I. I. Oh, okay. Right? okay. And then you have what? You have a verb, right? Yeah. And then mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you think is the subject? The? The, the object, I'm sorry. The object, the object. is? The object is? Rain. 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 Okay, the rain. Why, guys? Because who are we? So what are we talking about here? About the rain. Uh, We're the... talking about the rain. Very good job. Hey, applause. Good job. Good job. <laughs> All right. Yes, guys. So the rain, guys, is going to be our target. Think about it. This is a bullseye. Okay. Now, so the object is this, guys. See? Tu meta es esta. So this is the object of a sentence. This is what we are referring to. So, so far, so good? So far, so good. Do you all understand what the object of a sentence is? Yes. yes. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, I'm going to send a message to these kids because I don't see them here. All right, so uh, talking about that, let's read the second example, all right? Who wants, to, who wants me to, uh, who wants to help me read the second example? Me, teacher. Go. I prefer someone. I can talk to him easily. Very I prefer good. someone. Oh, just the first. Well, continue with the second one now. That's okay. <laughs> I prefer someone. I have fun with him. Very good job. What is the object of the sentence here? I. No. Someone. The subject. Someone. Someone. Okay. Someone. someone. Very good job. All right. In this case, guys, remember we were replacing. We were replacing the subject, okay? Because what was the subject here? I. Okay. Yeah. I. I is a subject, but uh -huh. in this case, they. They. And they uh -huh. referring uh -huh. to the guys, right? Those were the subjects. In this case, guys, I is the subject. All right. Someone is the object because it's what we are referring to. Okay. What about him, guys? What do you mean by him? Subject to. It's the object too, not it's subject. Object, object too, right? Object. Oh. Because we're taught we're still talking about someone. It's the same thing. Good? Yes. So far so good? Yes, yes. yes. Alright. Yes. So now how can we join these two together? How can we marry them? Alright, let me uh, let me read the example over here about how to marry them, or Gloria. Help me read. Help me read. Okay. Um, I would prefer someone who or that I can talk to easily. 
Very good job. Hey, hey, I would prefer someone who chat I, who, or chat I have fun with. Beautiful job, beautiful job. I prefer someone who or that have I have fun with. Now, is this optional? Can I can I get rid of that? Of that? Yes, no? Is this optional? Can I get rid of this? I think that it is optional. It is optional, guys, okay? So if you want, you don't have to say it. All right, so let me, let me give you another example, all right? Let's use I prefer, and let's, let's stick with this example, guys. I prefer someone who likes rock music all right now this could be two sentences two different sentences who can help me with the first sentence how can i how can i separate this i could say i prefer someone and then what likes music rock okay okay so uh, i prefer someone and then uh, I like he likes rock music. No, okay, you can say um, that person, all right? You can say that person likes rock music. Like, all right, or that person needs to like or likes likes rock music. Rock music. All right. All right, so let's uh, let's give another example. Let's come up with another example. Um, uh, Gloria, pick someone who likes. Uh, you know what? What's your favorite color? Uh, my favorite colors is green. Teacher. Green. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Jessica, you have green eyes. Let's go. Let's go. Give me two sentences. Just say I prefer someone and then give me another sentence. Prefer someone that that person have has a beautiful smile. That person has a beautiful smile. All right. Beautiful. All right, so let's join these two phrases together, guys. Elena, how can we use, how can we join these two phrases together? Um, I, I prefer someone who has a beautiful smile. Who has a beautiful smile? Okay. Okay. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. Okay. Awesome. Why? Why? Applause for both of you guys. Good. Good job. Teacher, I, I, have, I, I have a question. question. Go for it. Hmm. Huh. For example, teacher, uh, in, in the sentence, I prefer someone that likes rock music too. Is correct? Yeah, you can say that. Okay. You can say Thank I prefer you. someone that likes rock music too. too. Oh. Yeah. Either. Okay. Yes. All right. So now, what happens? What happens if we use the same the same subject? Right? So what if I say, um, I prefer someone. I can have fun with. So how can how can I how can I join these two phrases together? Who can help me? Without using that or who. Who? I prefer someone who uh, I can have fun with. Very good job, I. Right? You can say, um, I prefer someone, okay, someone who I can have fun with. Or you can simply say, I prefer someone I can have fun with, okay? So if you're using the same pronoun, if you're using the same pronoun as in the beginning, you don't need 
you don't need to use the uh, the red in front of you. All right, it is optional. It is absolutely optional. Okay. So let's talk about Cheyenne. So Cheyenne, Cheyenne, what? Is a singer. Now let's say Cheyenne likes people. Okay. All right, Cheyenne likes people. And then we're gonna say he can relate to those people. So how can we join this this um, this sentence? All right, volunteer. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So how can people, that's that's uh, can re relative to those people. Cheyenne, what? Cheyenne like people that he can relative. That he can relate. Repeat, relate. 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 Okay, Cheyenne likes people that he can relate to. To those. To those. Right, yes, yeah. no, no, no. No, you don't need to say to those people again because you already know that you're uh, yes. talking about people. Uh, okay, okay. okay. So Cheyenne yeah. likes people he can relate to. So the first sentence says, a Chayanne le gustan las personas. Él, él puede relacionarse con esas personas. Sí, son dos sí. ideas. Ahora las quiero unir. Chayanne le gustan las personas con quien se puede relacionar. All right. Because he can relate. All right. But if I, pero si yo le pongo uh, that he can relate to those people, estoy siendo redundante. You get the idea? Just make sure it makes sense in your head, guys, okay? Yes. yes. All right, beautiful. So, so you can, can you see, Shayan likes people he can relate to. Yes, exactly. Without there you go. that. Yes, there uh -huh. you go, there you go, okay? And you're still joining the two ideas together. Any questions, guys? You, Any questions? Can, can, you, can you put a, a that? Do what? Chayan likes people when you have to separate the, the ideas or the, the, it's necessary to use the punctuation. What do you mean here? Like comma. Mm. It's a question. Chayan likes people, comma? No. No. Okay. You, I know what you're trying to say, but that's, a, that's another example that we're going to see later. Like, you mean this? Uh, Chayanne, Chayanne, comma, who likes someone who can play music is very annoying. All right, this is a different thing. We're not seeing this, but this is what you mean. Okay. All right. Thank uh, you. Very good, though. Very good. All right. Any other idea, guys? Some teacher, Chayanne likes people who can relate to him. Yeah, you can say that. Cheyenne. Cheyenne likes people. Uh -huh. Cheyenne likes people who can relate to him. Beautiful job. Yes, okay. this is another one. Be beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, do my favorite, guys, okay? I think that you got the idea. So let's let's go ahead and practice, okay? So conversation time, guys. Yesterday, guys, uh, we were talking about oh. we were talking about two different topics. I told you that I'm going to evaluate you on those topics. So I'm going to give you more time to practice, guys. But please do me a favor, talk, okay? I really need to see you talking on the groups. Any question before we practice? No, 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 no. No. All right. Then. All right. Not yet. All right, you have the question on the WhatsApp group, but I will send it again if you want, right? So let's practice, let's go. All right, guys, let's practice. Hi. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, okay, practice. Uh, 
the, 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 first, the first question only the, the do you usually buy things that you don't really need? Gloria? Oh, yes, uh, Ricardo. Uh, I, I like uh, to buy uh, different accessories or, for example, clothes that I don't uh, uh, need. Uh, I, normally, when I help to another uh, friends uh, uh, to buy clothes, uh, finish, I, I buy clothes that I don't need. I understand. I, I usually buy things that I don't need when I visit a, a hardware store. Is it because uh, I I I I, um, I, um, I prefer some tools <laughs> for uh, for um, house. I need some tools. As I buy is usually when I I visit the, the the hardware store. Hardware store. Yes, ferretería. Oh. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. About Dollar City too, so <laughs> so I think that is a a, a, a problem for all. <laughs> yes, uh, I I like Dollar City because <laughs> they have many many things uh, that really we don't need. <laughs> yes, but but always you buy. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Continue, continue, continue. I'm just listening. Okay. Um, what is the well, other in my, question? In yes. my case, uh, I was thinking that there's stuff of uh, I, I always try to buy is like uh, garden stuff. Uh, it's like uh, pots, like plants or tools. I, I don't know. It's like an, <laughs> a, an obsession. Uh, to to her, I I like garden. I like to to, to do you the like, garden. Do you like the plant? Yes, but uh, I I don't need more <laughs> more more things in my house. So you, you don't you don't have a space a space in more your space. Life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my mother I, is my mother loves loves the plants. And oh, true. Yeah. Um, my mother loves flan. My mother loves yes. plants. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And she she has many a lot of time in in the garden. She spends okay. a lot of time in the in the garden. Yes. She spends a lot of time in, in the garden. Yes. <laughs> I like to buy that things. Of those things and um but again sir i like uh, technological uh, things for it and you you yes. like to be <gasps> hi babies hello hi how are you <laughs> i'm good i'm what are you practicing yeah we 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 are in the second question Okay. Talking about the weird food. All right, let me hear you. Okay, um, I like I like Japanese food, but I don't have I tried one. Well, maybe yeah. Bueno, don't say bueno. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I could try uh, another kind of food like sushi. That is the one of I like the most. No, right? That's awesome. Okay. What, what about, about you? What about you, Jessica? <laughs> no, what about me? Yeah, but what about you, Jessica? Yeah, but Jessica already <laughs> answered. <laughs> okay, I I don't like uh, try to eat uh, whale food. I only eat normal food. What do you, What do you mean normal food? What is normal? Uh, are okay. basically bananas and beans combined a normal food to you? Oh. Yes, it's normal. <laughs> Is it normal for real? Um, no, it's not normal. Nobody, have you ever been to another country? 
Uh, no, I don't like sushi or, or bueno. Bueno, uh, don't say bueno, come on. <laughs> uh, Japanese food, maybe. <laughs> but it's not great. Okay, all right. Indian food. Indian. You know what? Uh, Spicy food. I actually like a lot of food. The things that I don't like are like fruits, fruits coming from El Salvador. Except sapotes, I love sapotes. But if you what talk about the, the but if you talk about nasses, jocotes, all of that, I don't, I hate it. <laughs> I don't, I don't the like them. Of the, uh, uh, there's a one um, orange fruit. Uh, I don't remember the Is, name. You, you mean the? Uh, you mean the? Uh, oh my God! I forgot too. You're talking about mandarinas, right? No, it's hard. But I forgot that word. But uh, I, I wanted to say that it uh, was, in the beginning, the original flavor and color of cola champagne. I have no I don't idea remember the name. What type so of, sorry. of what type of beer you're talking about. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I all right, but uh, yeah, but but good good practice, good practice. You know, I do like Indian food. I I used I to live with some Indians. It. They smell bad because of the food, mm -hmm. but but mm -hmm. their their food is good. I like it, and um, okay. And my favorite food would be Brazilian Brazilian food. I love I love beans from Brazil, like the frijoles. From there, Jesus uh, the color of the beans are white or black. Yeah, uh, no, it's they're they're not white. I mean, they do have black beans, but uh, the the preparation is different. They have like a lot of spices and everything, so it's very delicious. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so continue practicing. <laughs> Thank you. You hooked me up here. I can see your practice. Where did you work? Yes. I uh, have been uh, <laughs> What happened? I have been rabbit because my boyfriend likes to eat You have a beer and a rabbit? Una cerveza uh, no. <laughs> no, I don't like beer. You don't like beers? Yes. Okay, but you said that you have beers and rabbits. We are talking about the the most stranger food that we, we have tried. <laughs> oh, <laughs> iguanas! Have you tasted iguanas? No, no I haven't. haven't. No. No. Rabbit, I rabbits. Yeah. Yeah. You tasted rabbit. Do you like rabbits? Yeah. Yes, I like it. It's like a chicken. <laughs> it's like a chicken. It's, yeah. it's similar. Teacher, oh, when you yeah. are talking about food, how is the correct form to say dura? For example, the carne is dura. Meat. So meat, meat is hard. Meat is uh, harder. Meat um, is uh, tender. Tender. Yes. Tender means maduro. Oh. No. Tender, you can say it's not it's not tender, which is basically not not so soft, okay? But you can ah. say the meat is hard. It's you hard. Know. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Beautiful. We're gonna go back now, guys. All right, guys. So beautiful. Okay, guys. So time for evaluation. All right, so everybody's come to, is gonna come to the front, guys. You got 20 seconds. Now, who wants to be my timer, guys? Who wants to be my timer? Me teacher. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Let me see a smart face. All right, Jessica. All right, Jessica, on your cell phone, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> on your on your cell phone, Jessica. Just set the timer for 20 seconds, okay? So 20 seconds, oh, my cell phone is all broken. So 20 seconds, and you're going to say stop, all right? Got it?
Got it, got it, got it right. Very good, very good, okay? All right, guys. So, welcome to Don Francisco Presenta. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, welcome to your evaluation. I'm going to evaluate five areas, guys, which is which are uh, grammar, vocabulary, intonation, pronunciation, pronunciation, and fluency, okay? So, minimum score is going to be zero. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then 0 0.5, 1. 1.5 and 2, okay? If you get a 2, it's like getting a 10. All right, so just talk, guys. Relax the muffin. I relax and cake it. All right? That phrase doesn't exist in English, guys, right? It's not used in English. All right? Okay. So who wants to go first? Me, teacher. Come on, guys. Everybody's going to come, so. Me, teacher. Ah, there you go, Gloria. Plus for Gloria, guys. For the bad time, a good phrase. All right, for, okay. All right, that doesn't exist in English, though, but, but I understand. All right. I think I got your names here. Gloria, 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 I don't have here. I got Ricardo Foster, Luis Ronnie Allison, Brenda Carlos. Okay, yeah. So, Gloria. Let's go, Gloria. So okay. you you ready? Um, you ready with the timer, Jessica? Are you ready with the timer? Tenés preparado el tiempo de 20 segundos en el teléfono. Yes, no. No, teacher. Teacher, if you want, I I can I can. Okay, all right, Ronnie. Thank you, Ronnie. All right. Ronnie, on three, two, one. Let's go, Gloria. Question okay. number one. Um, question, do you usually buy things that you don't uh, really need? Yes. Yes, I usually buy things that uh, I don't really need. For example, uh, the clothes. When I help you uh, to my friends uh, oh. for buy clothes, I always finish by a clock. All right, by... beautiful job. Oh, guys, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, good job, good job, good job. All right, so we got uh, we got a final sound mistake here or grammar. It depends if you didn't notice. And we got another one here, which is grammar. Now, so you got two grammar mistakes. Everything else was good. Hey, Ronnie, try to start the timer as soon as he stops, starts talking, okay? Because that was like 10 seconds, right? I need her to talk for 20 seconds. All right. 20 but, seconds. Uh, but good job, baby. Good job. Thank you. All right. So here, why is it a grammar mistake? Because you should have said thanks. Repeat. Thanks. 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 All right. Thanks. Thanks. Okay? thanks. Thanks. All right. So just practice the, fi the, the sound of S at the end. All right. I know it's difficult because we speak Spanish, but just practice. Then you say the clothes. You were going to say the closed store. The closed store. Now, first of all, store. this is vocabulary too, okay? Repeat, the clothing store. Clothing. The clothing store. All right. All right. And if you're going to say the clothes, you don't say the clothes. You simply say clothes, all right? Because it's something not specific. So you need to study articles. Uh, just study articles and you know, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so grammar, all right, so you made one mistake in grammar. I'm gonna give you a 1.5 here. Vocabulary, you got 1.5. Intonation was good. You didn't have problems with the intonation of the words. Pronunciation, all right, pronunciation, you said things, thing instead of things. All right, 1.52. And fluency was okay. You didn't talk too much though, because it's 20 seconds, guys, all right? So I'm gonna give you a two. So final score, two, five, six, seven, eight point five out of ten. Good job, applause for Gloria, guys. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. All right. So let's see who's next. Jessica, applause for Jessica, guys. Jessica. First question. Yeah, the first one. Now, do me a favor, guys. I want everybody in your notebook, guys, to start writing down what you're going to say to the front, okay? 
in your notebook. You are not going to read. I just want you to make sure that you're not going to make any mistakes, okay? All right, Ronnie, 20 seconds from the moment he starts talking, okay? Okay. All right, three, two, one. Jessica, go. Five things that I don't really need, Sasha's clothes or shoes or items for my hair, for example, shampoo or another thing for a, for a comb my hair. But after okay. that I buy, I don't really use. So. Okay. Good job, good job, good job. Okay, I'm gonna write down one last area of opportunity there all right so you said four comb my hair okay good job beautiful beautiful so uh great job amazing fluency nice pronunciation uh great intonation things that we need to work on jessica you said for my chair all right for my chair i don't know if you're talking for your church or for your chair para tu silla is that what you're talking about? Something for your chair? I think it was hair. Okay, right. I think you were okay. talking about hair. Oh, okay, for my hair. All right, I don't know. I, I, I heard chair, all right? So, just for now, so you should open your mouth, okay? Uh, and okay. they say, for comb my hair. Now, guys, when you use when you use the preposition for, the verb has to be in ing form all the time, guys. So, in what form does it have to be? Basically. For combing my hair. For combing my hair, okay? It has to be in ing. Uh, Write it down. For combing, for coming to class, for driving. All right, you cannot say the verb in base form after using the preposition for, all right? Other than that, so this was a grammar mistake. Beautiful job. Grammar 1.5. Uh, pronunciation 1.5 here. Vocabulary was good. So you got six, seven, eight, nine out of 10. Beautiful job. Applause for Jessica, guys. Woohoo, Jessica. All right, so let's see who's next. Keep writing down in your notebook, guys. I don't know if you're able to see your score, Jessica. Here it is. All right. And let's see who's next. Allison. Wow. Plus for Allison, guys. Woo <laughs> okay. All right. All right, Allison. Three, two, one. Let's go. Yes, I uh, usually buy things that I don't really need, like makeup, and it's funny because I never use makeup. And? Twenty seconds. Can you hear me? Yeah, you, you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh. I tell oh. all. I answer the question. So, did you hear that? <laughs> yes, but it has to be. 20 seconds, all right? Good job, plus guys, good job for Allison. But the question was, the answer was very short. So Allison- yes, 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, exactly, 10 seconds. So yes. no mistakes for Allison, but I'm gonna subtract points in fluency because she didn't finish talking, okay? All right, so fluency here is gonna be a one. Everything else is a two. You didn't make any mistakes, okay? That was actually pretty beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so Allison got a nine out of ten. Applause for Allison, guys. Beautiful job, Allison. All right, Allison, remember, Thanks. if you have to talk for 20 seconds, just continue talking, right? And the last one, guys. Okay. Let's see who the last one is. Ricardo, a post for Ricardo. Okay. <laughs> Richard. Okay. All right, Ricardo. All right, okay. I usually buy um, 
uh, and uh, buy things that, that I don't need. Uh, mainly when I visit the hardware store, I like collecting different kinds of tools. Okay, continue. Uh, uh, and, and the other, uh, the other thing that uh, with uh, um, uh, make uh, make uh, make. Uh, good job, applause. Time's up. Applause for Ricardo, guys. Good job, good job, good job right? Now, okay. Ricardo, beautiful. I loved your fluency in the beginning. Uh, pronunciation is great overall. Let's go over the things that we need to improve. You said five things that I that I that I no need. Maybe you said that I don't need, but buy thing. Okay, I don't like or I I like or I buy things. Repeat things. Thanks. 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 Repeat thanks. 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 Okay, thanks that I don't need. Now, guys, these guys ha have you ever heard a have you ever heard of uh, a snake? What is the what is the sound of a, of a snake? How does how does a snake do, guys? Snake. Right. Okay. So the sound of the snake, guys. Every time that you see an S at the end, you have to pronounce the the sound of the snake. Thanks. Thanks. Snake. Repeat. Snake. 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 All right. Snake. Snake. All right. Yo le llamo la técnica del cobrador, guys. No se han fijado, yo le hace. Right? Pasa, pasa, right, right? So, ah, ok. You can either It's call it la técnica, la, la técnica secreta de la serpiente o del cobrador, right? Both of them have big, big tongues. All right, good job, and the guys. Word, good job. And the word N with P H. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, then you said different kinds. Now, Repeat different kind. Different, different kind. kind. Beautiful, beautiful guys. Different you always, you always have to to pronounce the final sounds. If you see a D at the end of the word, you have to pronounce it. Okay? Don't say, don't say kind. Say kind. Kind. Right. Kind. 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 All right. Kind. Different kind of tools. Kind. All right. Kind. And then you say the other thing. Hey, how do you say how do you say gracias in English? Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, right? Thanks. All right, this is like te, 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 te. Thanks. 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 Stick, Thanks. Everybody, everybody stick your Thanks. tongue out. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. All right, so repeat, Ricardo, thank. Thanks. 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 All right, beautiful, Thanks. man, beautiful. Thanks. So we got grammar here, we got uh pronunciation here and we got pronunciation here too so pronunciation is going to be a one grammar is going to be a 1.5 and everything else hey you didn't stop talking though you, you stopped talking too soon though so fluency i'm going to give you one so two four six seven point five out of ten okay good job man not bad all right I right, also record the guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, Thank super you. good. All right, we gotta move on now, guys. So, um, yesterday I told you guys that I was gonna help you with the platform. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and pull up the platform, guys. So everybody, go to um. Hold on, let me pull up the exercise. Just everybody, go to the to the to the exercise right now, guys. Hold on. So the platform, guys, the whole first part of the platform, guys, has to be completed this week. When does it have to be completed? The knowledge. Yes. What? So, so, the, so, knowledge. so the first section, guys, of the platform has to be completed by Friday. By when, guys? By Friday. By Friday. Very good job. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh yeah, tomorrow is Friday. Yeah, Forgot it. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm tired. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I forget understand like what, I understand. What, 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 what day is today, right? All right guys, so um, 
So basically, guys, we cover this and we cover this. All right, so it's time to do exercises, okay? okay. All right, then we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk. We're just gonna do conversations about the different type of personalities. But right now, um, everybody should be done with this. So did you finish this exercise? Yes. All yes. right. Uh, for so now. Me, don't worry. Don't worry. Tell me. Tell me. Uh, uh, for me, no, because the last one exercise, I had a little problem. It's not finished yet. Okay. All right, all right, hold on. Hold on, guys. Oh, okay, thank you. All right, I understand. All right, so uh, let's go with number one, guys. Okay, so what is the answer for number one? Help me read. Uh, who wants to help me read? Um, me All, right. All right, let's go, Ronnie. Right. What, what is the, the first? What is the first one? The answer is I have nothing in common with this person. Okay, I have nothing in common with this person. Good job, good job, good job, all right? Pick someone else, pick someone else, go. Pick someone, Ronnie. Pick someone, pick someone. Ronnie, come on. Okay, uh, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go, Ricardo. Okay, please, please show us the answer. What, what is the answer? Okay. 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 Uh, it's um, a number, uh, number the, 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 the last one. The, the person is quite inconsiderate. Okay. All right. You think that's the answer? All right. Good job. Pick someone else quickly. Five, four, three, two. Jorge. Jorge. Let's go, Jorge. Uh, this person is quite inconsiderate. This person, what, is quite inconsiderate? So it's the same one? Yes. Okay, so repeat, repeat. This person, everybody repeat. This, this person, person, this person is quite, quite, quite considerate. 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 Beautiful, 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 okay. Okay. All right, so uh, let's see, Allison, number four. Um, let me let me see. <laughs> I don't like to be with people. These people, these people are warm and sensitive. I do people. So, which is the answer? This person. Um, Yes, but nothing. Uh, these people, I don't feel com comfortable around these people. Okay, all right. Did you not finish the, the, the exercise yesterday? I finished. Uh, I... Okay, sorry. That's okay, that's okay. No, Alison, Alison, did you finish the exercise? No, I didn't finish it. Because okay. I have a lot of work. All right, all right. You need to finish it right now then, okay? Like to, like okay. right now, right now, okay? All right, number five. Uh, let's see. Foster, number five. Okay, uh, I want to discuss my problems with friends. And the answer is these people are warm and sensitive. All right, these people... Wow. Where is it? Are warm and sensitive. Good job. Good. Nice pronunciation. All right, Brenda, number six, Brenda. The answer is uh, this person has good leadership quali qualities. Beautiful. Victor, number seven. I, I prefer to have teachers. These people are organized and intelligent. Repeat, guys. Organized. 
Organized. Organized. Organized. Organized. All right, guys. So everything is good except number two. What is the answer for number two? Who can tell me? These people, people have, have a sense of humor. Sense of humor. 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 These humor. people. These people have a good sense of humor, right? Let's see. Very good. Applause for you guys. Good job. All right. So relative pronouns. All right. So how? Which? Who? Who wants to give me the first answer? I can. Say your say your name, guys. Say your name. Foster. Foster. Let's go. Okay. Uh, I like to meet people who who have. Uh, sorry. I like to meet people who have a good sense of, sense of humor. I like or I the like. Oh, sorry. I I'd like I'd like, like to meet people who who have a good sense of humor. Who have a good sense of humor? Okay. All right. Let's see if that's correct. Very good. Number two. Who else wants to give me number two? Me, teacher. Gloria. Oh, Gloria. Let's go, Gloria. Okay, I don't like to be with people that I have nothing in common with. Nothing in common with, okay. Beautiful, let's see, very good, awesome guys. So, these are the answers guys, so if you want to review them, they're gonna be on, the, on YouTube. Guys, you, you have to finish the whole section this week, okay, by tomorrow. Okay. So I don't want anybody, guys, not to have finished. So what I want you to do, guys, you're going to come to progress, okay? Please write this down. You're going to come here to progress. What I need you to do, I have all of your names, okay? So uh, I'm going to ask you. So you're going to come to progress, and you're going to show me that this section over here has 100 percent how much what's going to be the percentage 100 very good 100 percent guys 100 so i'm going to say it in spanish get on a screenshot guys mañana de que esa sección tiene 100 got it in a group of whatsapp yeah. ustedes me envían ese screenshot yes okay okay beautiful okay. beautiful beautiful right all right so let's um, continue can you show me please where, where the section is finished. There was a progress. You go to progress. Progress is out over here, like here. Can you see? Yeah, but my question was about the uh, the 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 screen that you showed before. This one. You mean this one? How many exercises? have to do is one two three four five five exercises okay thank you all right no problem all good job guys so hey ask me question guys that that's very good all right guys so uh let's continue do you have any questions so far um i yeah i do Tell me. Do we have to finish the section one? Correct. Do you have to? Yes, you have to finish. By the tomorrow. One. Yes, by tomorrow. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Before right the, now, before the class, teacher. You can finish it before the class or after the class. It doesn't matter as, oh. as long as you finish it tomorrow. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, tomorrow, guys, we're gonna see basically these personalities. Everything else, guys, is pretty much relative pronouns. And uh, and that's it, okay? Okay. It's just vocabulary for tomorrow. All right. So yeah, we're gonna finish this 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 part this section tomorrow's guy tomorrow guys, and that's gonna be it. All right. So uh, any other question, guys, before we leave? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's my first <laughs> time in that screen. Uh -huh. Can you show me uh, in that screen? where i have to finish okay in this screen okay so if this if it, if this is your first day you're gonna come here uh you watch the video 
you click on next, you click on next, and this, you watch the other video, and this is an exercise. So these exercises, the ones that are exercises, these are the ones who count for finishing something, okay? That count for finishing something. So you 1. have to finish. 1.4. So you have to finish 1.4. You have to finish uh, 1.7. You have to finish 1.11, and you have to finish 1.13. That's it. All right. All right, guys. So um, Thank you. before the class tomorrow, guys, everybody should should need to have uh, finished watching this video, okay? So the vocabulary for personalities. Because tomorrow, guys, we're going to play a game about personalities that are here. All right, so be ready. I'm going to ask you about these personalities, okay? So study, guys. Study this before the class tomorrow. Got it? Uh, Beautiful. Uh, tomorrow don't have uh, classes. Yes. It's a Sunday. It's a, no, yes. It's an section. Yeah, well, yes. Way. Yes, we do. The reason why, guys, is because we started this week on, 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 uh, on Tuesday. Tuesday. Ah, okay. Exactly, but it's only gonna be this week. Starting next week, guys, it's gonna be from Monday to Thursday, okay? okay. But, to, but tomorrow, be on class, be on time, guys. Remember, me dieron su compromiso de que siempre se iban a meter. So I am missing two people, guys, but thank you, guys. Thank you for everything. Any other question, guys? How are you feeling? Good? Good. Good. All right, good, good, good. Pretty good. Uh, have you been watching the videos on YouTube? Yes, teacher. All right, good I job. See the video. Yeah. So if you're missing something, guys, just go ahead and watch the videos on YouTube, okay? So I got, an, an, I got another class right now, guys. Thank you so much for all of your effort. I will thank see you tomorrow, you. and high five yeah. to you, guys. Okay. okay. Thank get you, teacher. Get, get, get some rest. <laughs> bye. 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 Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Okay. Bye. bye. Have a good night. Everybody. Good night, sir. Good night. Everybody. Good night. Good night.